So let's get started. So the very first thing what we're going to do is we are going to create a circle. So I'm going to click on my oval tool and if you look into my properties in here, it shows oval tool. And then the fill and stroke, this is your stroke. You should see a white chip, a diagonal red line on it. That means there's no outline to it. The stroke means providing an outline to your uh, shape. And then the fill color. So let's go ahead and start with stroke. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select the color of my stroke that I need. So let's say I'm going to select purple and I'm going to select the fill color as probably pink. This tells the thickness of the outline. So how thick do I need the outline of my circle? So I'm going to um, give six here, 6.0 press enter and the next thing is I'm going to select style I'm going to drop this arrow down there are already some styles given to you the very first one is headline that's a very fine line the second one is solid line dashed line dotted line and so on so I'm going to select the solid line for today's lesson and the last property is the width so I'm going to drop this arrow down and I'm going to select the very first one uniform width and now I'm ready to draw my circle. So, but make sure that I am on frame one of layer one. And now on my top left corner, I'm just going to draw my circle. So now what I need to do is I need to take the circle and convert it into a star. So now I'm going to click on frame 20 and I'm going to now right click and I'm going to select insert blank keyframe. What this does is it creates all the frame, it creates all the frames until 19. And uh, from one through 19, we'll have the same frame as frame one, but in frame 20, we, so we are creating an empty blank keyframe. Now, if I click anywhere in between the frames one to 20, anywhere in here, you'll see the difference that on frame one, we have a black dot filled with black color. And in frame two, we have a black circle, which is not completely filled with black color. So the difference between these two is on frame one, the, this black dot indicates that this is a key frame. And in frame 20, this indicates that the key frame is empty. That means I don't have any shape in my frame uh, 20. I don't have any image in my frame 20. So let's put another shape in here on frame 20. I'm going to use polystar. I'm going to go to the toolbar and I'm going to select the polystar tool. And I'm going to click on it. And uh, you should be seeing something like this. The stroke is no outline, but of course I'm going to select a stroke line and I'm going to select uh, blue as my outline. And I'm going to select the fill color as yellow and the stroke line, uh, the thickness of the line, I'm going to keep six. Style, I'm going to keep the same solid. Width, I'm going to keep the same as the uniform. And now the last one is I'm going to click options and I'm going to drop this out of town and I'm going to select star. And the number of sides from a star, maybe I need is um, eight and then press okay. Now I'm ready to draw my star. So I'm going to draw my star here and release. Now if you see the star is going outside the stage and we don't want that to happen. We want all our shapes to be inside the stage. So I'm going to go to my toolbar in here. I'm going to select my selection tool, the very first one. And now if you see, it says HTML5 canvas document. Now before I make adjustments to my star, I need to make sure I select the star completely. So I'm going to use the scroll bar to scroll a little up. And now I'm going to click and drag and make a square around the shape. Once I do this, you should see dotted pattern that appears all over the surface. Now this means I have selected the shape and I'm ready to either modify it, edit it, delete it, um, anything with the shape. So now I'm going to move the shape little towards the bottom so that it's in the stage. And I'm going to click anywhere outside so that I deselect it. 